understanding the power of your faith. You. Faith, looking at the Bible, is the greatest asset for a child of God. Jesus came here. He began healing people. He began casting demons. He began changing people's destiny. But most of the time, Jesus' message to them is, according to your faith. So in a way, faith becomes embodiment of the miracles Jesus did for the people. Because the people have faith. So Matthew 9, 29, Jesus said, according to your faith, let it unto you, according to your faith, be it unto you. So right now, as we are preparing to enter 2020, it will be according to your faith. If you believe God is good, and because God is in control, you, you, you can first tomorrow, it's according to your faith. So these people were blind, they received their sight. Not because Jesus was powerful only, but because they connected, they agreed with Jesus. So Jesus said, according to your faith, be it unto you. So my friends, we need to understand the power of faith. That your destiny is at the mercy of your faith. May God increase your faith. Before I define faith, I want us to read Mark 9, 23. Mark 9, 23. Mark 9, 23. Jesus said unto him, If thou can believe, all things are possible to him that believe. So, every problem is reversible by faith. Every problem is solvable by faith. Every situation can, it, is changeable or can change by faith. Nothing is bad. Anytime faith shows up, everything is possible. May God increase your faith. Somebody's son was sick. He went to Jesus. Can you do something about it? Jesus said, the problem is not me. It is you. Don't ask me, can I help you 2020? Can. Don't ask God that one. God said, don't ask me. He is able. And these are, God is able. If you believe. So, the challenges we have is that it's not because God is slow to act. It's not because God's power has gotten down, but because we lack faith. Jesus said, and he's talking to you, all things. Somebody say all things. All things including all things. Your marriage, your welfare, your health, your finances, your upper mobility, your tomorrow. Everything is possible. Right now, if you are sick and you believe that God can heal you, let it be so according to your faith. If you don't have money and you know God can bless you, let it be so according to your faith. If you are here and you know you are not going to die young, let it be so according to your faith. Here we are as Ghanaians and as Africans, because I know we have Nigerians and some West African nationals in this church. We believe that in most cases, by reason of our background, our level cannot change. At times, we look at our income our family tree, and because of that, we think we are not important. But it doesn't matter where you are coming from. By this way, whether they burn you into a pit or in a bungalow or a ghetto, you can come out in the name of Jesus. I decree over your destiny 2020, you are going to be a record breaker. It's according to your. Okay, so now let's begin to talk something about the importance of faith. Are you, by reading these two scriptures, 
It simply means that faith is important because with faith, everything is possible. That's number one. Number two, faith is important because without faith, nothing will work for you. Faith is important because without faith, nothing will work for you. Faith is important because with faith, every problem is changeable or resolvable. Faith. Faith is important because it changes people's destiny. Faith adds color and beauty to the one who have it. There is no case that is closed when faith show up. So faith is important. Somebody shout faith. faith. Raise up and say my father. Say my heavenly father. Increase my faith. Why, please take your seat. Why is it that faith is important? Faith is important because without faith, even when Jesus pay you a visit, you cannot receive any breakthrough or blessings from him. I want to take it today again. Faith is important because without faith, even if Jesus pays you a visit, you can receive the breakthrough you are looking for from him. How do I know? Give me Mark chapter 6, Mark 6, 5 and 6. Mark 6, 5 and 6. Mark 6, 5 and 6. Mark. And he could, this is Jesus, and he, he could then do no mighty work, save that he laid his hands upon a few sick fold and healed them. Why? The verse 6. And he marveled because of their unbelief. And he went round about the villages teaching. Why faith is so much important? From these scriptures, we are told that when Jesus went to his hometown, he could not do much. It doesn't mean that he lacked power. Because all power resides in him. But the, the reason has been given to us, he could... They do no mighty work, save that he laid his hand upon a few. And the answer is, because of their unbelief, Jesus marveled. So watch this. If Jesus comes to your house, for your life to change, it's not about him. It doesn't depend on him. It's you. So why faith is important? Faith can cause you to experience the hand of God. Faith can help God to act. Without faith, God couldn't even act. He can't help. He did little things. So if even Jesus could not help, what about your pastor? What about? Nobody can help you. No human being can help you if you don't have faith. He could not do much. He did little. That's the Bible. So why is faith important? Faith is important because without it, you block the hand of God. God mighty hands cannot be seen in your life. So 2020, if you want to see God's hand, it's according to your faith. Amen. Amen. It's according to your faith. Amen. May God increase your faith. Amen. Somebody shout, faith, come to me. Amen. Somebody shout, faith, come to me. Amen. So our life and our future, our destiny is at the mercy of how we exercise our faith. Without faith, you truncate your future. Without faith, you truncate your future. You destroy your future. Jesus could not do much. Save small people. Twenty twenty. If you see his hands, it's all about your faith. The Bible said Jesus was marveled. He was surprised that every the honor have come and I could not do much. Where there's no faith, God even cannot perform. He can't perform by this scripture. God can do everything, but where there's no faith, you truncate his power. So faith is important so that you can see the hand of God. May God increase your faith. So tell seven people, believe God though, because your life is at the mercy of your faith. Seven people. 
seven people. You are talking to seven people and you are sitting down. Believe God, oh. Believe God, oh. Believe God, oh. Because your future is at the mercy of your faith. Believe him, oh. Believe God, oh. God, oh. Believe him, oh. Somebody shout, Jesus. Jesus. What is faith? Before I tell you what is faith, I want us to discuss what faith is not. Before I tell you what is faith, what faith is not. Number one, faith is not head knowledge. James chapter 2 verse 19. James 2 19. Faith is not head knowledge. Give, give me James 2 19. Faith is not a philosophy. Faith is not head knowledge. Simply mean hey, faith is not a philosophy. Faith is not humanistic principle. Faith is not humanistic principle. And faith is not a doctrine. Now, listen. Thou believe that there is one God. Thou, thou doest, doest well. The devils also believe and tremble. So watch this. If you, if you just believe that there is a God, the devil also do the same. So this is what we call head knowledge. There is God. Or God can do it. If you believe that one and you don't trust, you don't, re, you don't rely on him, that is head knowledge. Most people are in church, they have humanistic principle to them, that's faith. They are faith is like just principles. It's like philosophy. They just believe with their, their head. Thou believest that there is one God. Thou doest well. Why? Because the devil also believes and tremble. So, what is not faith? Faith is not head knowledge. The devil also believes God. But the difference is that no, the devil knows that it's God. He doesn't trust God. He doesn't rely on him. He does his own thing. Most people go to church. They know that it's God. But they don't rely on him. They don't trust him. So those people, what they have to them is faith. It's not. It's just a psychology or philosophy. It's just humanistic principle. Humanistic view. That's no faith. For example, right now, if you know God can bless, God has power to bless people. But if you believe that one and you think oh, for you, he can't bless you, that is no faith. That is head knowledge. So your faith is like this one. The devil believes there is God. He even trample. He, God is coming over, but he doesn't rely on him. So it's not enough to have head knowledge. No, it begins from there. Let's go deeper and see. If this is not faith, what is faith? Somebody shout, faith. faith. Shall we keep up standing and listen to this one? Faith is, you can so write if you have your notes. Faith is fully persuaded by the truth. Faith is fully, F-U-L-L-Y, fully persuaded by the truth from the word of God. Faith is fully persuaded by the truth from the word of God. Notwithstanding the prevailing conditions, notwithstanding the prevailing conditions until the truth triumphs. What is faith? Faith is I am convinced beyond doubt that what God has said that he will do, he will do. And because I'm convinced, my mind is made up. It doesn't matter my pocket. It doesn't matter what is going on in my body. My mind is made up. I am persuaded that as a man, he can never disappoint you. you. Your mind is fixed by that truth and you hold on to it. It is possible that why are you believe in this? Your mind is fixed. Yeah, your body is fixed. 
Form. What is faith? We are going to hear this definition the whole month of January. Faith is you are fully persuaded. You are fully convinced by the truth written in the word of God. And because of your convincing mindset, you hold on to the truth. The spice that is what you call faith. Now, let's read the Bible and see my definition, whether it's from my mind or from the Bible. Let's go to Romans chapter 4, 2021. And probably I will do the definition only today because I have a lot to say. Because if you understand this one, my job as a pastor is accomplished. GDN said, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm me body yam yo, me was sicko, mini sicko, me cram, quasi semi hunya mensa. He did not waver at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strengthened in faith, giving glory to God. Give me 21. And, and be fully convinced. I love that one. Convinced that what he has promised, he has also able to. He was also able to perform. So, can you please add a 2021? Faith. What is faith? 2021. Adam did not waver. Watch this. When you read the Bible, at time you need to come down to your level or begin to practice. I mean, practice, practice the Bible. Put it to practice. Look at Abraham. Hundred years before he had a child. When he was 75, God told him he's going to have a child. 80, no child. 90, no child. 95, no child. What did he do? He did not waver to him. God has said it. And it doesn't matter my body. Abraham will be going to town. People like people say no like. He says to go to church. The last time we have, his name was Abraham. But recently he himself has taken his name. That is it. His name is Abraham. Abraham simply means a two-people father. Abraham is a father of nations. You, Abraham. You are just deceiving yourself. Abraham, come on, give me a break. Where is your God? And he kept on. He was not moved. He was convinced. Me neba ensu nyame se mewo. Enti mi kure nyame ensu emu. Me neba dia ne yame ya ensu ne se nyame ba sami are ya. Me kure nyame ensu emu. So faith is not only believing God that he can do. You believe he can do and because of your belief, your action try to justify your belief. First Samuel chapter 2 verse 3. I love your quietness. First Samuel 2, the Bible says, before God, actions are weighed. Says the our hand. Sounds who did you go di. Now coffee you go swan. Who need you to Anybody who come to church, who follow God, and because of challenges, he goes home, whatever he finds himself, sharing tears, that person doesn't have faith. Because you are, I mean, your faith is like thermostat. You begin to sit. You oppose. You shift. That some people, one day they go to work and then they begin to do some business. Money has come. Pocket full. Oh God, you are good. I will serve you. I will worship you forever. Love you forever. This God is good. Because of the money. The same person singing this song. Next two weeks, next two weeks he used his money. She used his, her, her money did business and the winner didn't go to what expectation was. And then the, the person begins to change her or his countenance as if God is dead. Two weeks ago, you were thinking, today you are complaining. That is not faith. Faith is constant, asserting the verdict of God, fully persuaded. I can't see it, 
I can't feel it, but I know it is on its way coming. Can I hear better? Amen. Amen. Now, if it is the first out of the nowhere, and the promise of God through a believer was strengthened in faith, giving glory to God. Abba. What shows you have faith is that when you are happy, even in your challenges, Abraham, without a child, wake up in the morning, thank you, Jesus, glorifying God of his childishness. No child, but God is good. No money, but God is good. I don't serve God because of things. Faith. Master, 2020, it shall be unto you according to your faith. So listen, I read the Bible and I saw that faith is a spiritual prophecy. Hebrews 10 23. 10 23. Go there and I'll come here again because I will do the definition and that's all. If you catch this one, ah, I'll be satisfied. Somebody shout amen. amen. Somebody shout amen. amen. And the GDA is a Juma. I said, Oh, Bin San Juma, and you're so young. Nim dear Faho. Now, Nim dear Bakuna said, Oh, it's you, Yamimua. So, Babu, what that won't do? Who Nim Koma? Anytime you claim you have faith, but when you meet people, can't. Now, that is a bully, Nakano. You destroy your faith. You don't have faith. When you begin to complain, you talk to people about your problems. Maybe somebody just meet you on the way. Esther, how are you? Hmm. Have you not married still? Hmm. I don't even know whether God loves me. You, are, you don't have faith. Don't deceive yourself. You go to open your store. You want people to come and buy because you, you didn't go there to just look at people or the things you have bought. And yet, you could not make money. Anytime you begin to doubt in your heart, or begin to think, oh, so is this God is still on his throne? Last week I went to church. I gave my tithes. Huh? Look at me now. Immediately you do that. Hey, don't, you don't have faith. You are a young, young girl, young woman, you are a sister in
Man, wherever you are, I am too busy. Please go to toilet for me. Is it possible? Okay. You are too busy. So you want someone to breathe for you. Be happy and serious.